Hi, boys and girls. I'm here today with my friend, Elmer the Elephant. And I bet you can guess, I'm gonna share some stories about Elmer. And the first one is called Elmer and the Rainbow. And it's written by David McKee. And if you take a quiz on this, it's a reading counts book and it's worth one point. Elmer and the Rainbow. Elmer, the patchwork elephant, was in a cave. He was sheltering from a storm. With him were other elephants and birds. Thunder and lightning are exciting, said Elmer. And after the storm, we might see a rainbow. When the storm had stopped, Elmer and the birds went outside. Elmer felt drops on his head. Oh, he said, it's still raining. Or perhaps it's the rainbow crying, said a bird. It's come out too soon and lost all its colors. Look! And look in the sky. I've never seen a rainbow look like that. In the sky was a pale shape. A rainbow without color, said Elmer. That's awful. We must do something. I'll give it my colors. To do that... You'll have to find where it touches the ground, said a bird. Nobody knows where that is. Well, what are we waiting for, said Elmer. Let's start searching. You go that way and I'll go this way. What are you looking for, Elmer, called Lion. The end of the rainbow, said Elmer. Have you seen it? Which end, asked Lion. Well, either end, asked Elmer. The rainbow's lost its colors, and I can give it mine if we can find the end. A rainbow without colors? That's serious, said Tiger. Come on, Lion, we'd better search. You too, rabbits. We'll roar when we find it, said Lion. A little later, Elmer met Giraffe. Elmer, she said, there's something strange in the sky. That's the rainbow, said Elmer, and he told her about the lost colors. Can you see where it touches the ground? Giraffe stretched very high. No, I can't, she said. What will happen to you, Elmer, if you give it your color, she asked. But Elmer was already on his way to get the elephants. The elephants were still in the cave. We're not coming out with that thing in the sky, they said. But when Elmer explained the problem, the elephants were keen to help. Well, what about Elmer? What happens if he gives away his colors, asked an elephant. Well, I suppose he'll be like us, said his friend. Better than a colorless rainbow. Elmer was with the monkeys when the birds returned. No luck so far, they said, but we'll keep looking. Nobody can find the end of the rainbow, said a monkey, but it will be fun to try. By the time that Elmer arrived at the river, everyone was looking for the rainbow. Hello, fish, he called. I don't suppose you know where the rainbow starts, do you? Usually at the waterfall, said a fish. But today, there's some pale thing there. That's the rainbow, said Elmer. Come on to the waterfall. Sure enough, a colorless rainbow was coming from the waterfall. The search was over. Elmer, the fish, and the crocodiles called loudly to the other animals. And then, without waiting, Elmer went behind the waterfall. By the time the other animals had arrived, Elmer was out of sight. The colors gradually began to appear in the rainbow. Hooray, cheered the animals. But what about Elmer, whispered another elephant. What do you think? Will Elmer be gray or will he still be patchwork? <gasps> As if in answer, Elmer appeared from behind the waterfall. He still had his colors. The animals cheered again. But Elmer said an elephant, you gave your colors to the rainbow. How can you still have them? Elmer chuckled. Some things you can give and give and not lose any. Things like happiness and love or my colors. On the way home, Tiger said, I wondered if the rainbow would be patchwork. Elmer grinned. 
Don't even think about it, said Lion. We have enough trouble with a patchwork elephant. This time, Elmer laughed out loud. Now look at this last picture. Oh, that's what the patchwork rainbow would be. The end. Until next time. Bye-bye from Elmer and I.